Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Now, we have been given a circle and there is a tangent to the circle and there is a secant to the circle. This is tangent at T, PT, from, drawn from an external point P and the secant is PAB. We have to prove that PA into PB equal to PT square. Now, in this particular problem, they gave us a little bit additional help so that we can get an idea that we have to drop from center a perpendicular to the card and that point is N. So, how to solve this problem? For that, what we will do? We will first join center to T and also we will drop a perpendicular from center to the card AB and we will join center also to A. So, let us go ahead and do that. So, first we will say this is our center O. Let us drop a perpendicular. This angle is 90 degrees, we know. Let us drop a perpendicular to the card and we know that angle is 90 degrees. Let us join this to A. Now, where is our center? Our center is O. Now, let us say that that particular point is N. Now, we know that the perpendicular drawn from center will bisect the card. So, we know An equals to Bn. How will we prove this? We will go step by step. First, we will prove that Pa into Pb is equal to the first point what we have to prove here, p n square minus a n square. Now, you look at p n square minus a n square, that is in the form of a square minus b square. That means, we should be able to write it in the form of a plus b into a minus b. What is the meaning of that? p n plus a n into p n minus a n. There you go. That means, I will go back now and I will write down p a equals to p n minus a n and that I have to multiply with PB. But what is PB? PB is PN plus NB. But we know AN equal to BN. So, why can't we write it as PN minus AN and multiply that with PN plus AN. Now, a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. That is p n square minus a n square. Now, for the second step, we have to prove p n square minus a n square equal to o p square minus o t square. Now, what is p n square? Let us go to, let us go to the triangle. If you take the triangle o p n, if you join o to p, then we know p n square is equal to o p square minus o n square. So, can we write down that? We will write down p n square can be written as o p square minus o n square minus a n square. That is equal to o p square minus of o n square plus a n square. Now, look at the triangle a o n. We know in triangle a o n, o a square equal to o n square plus a n square. So, I can write it as o p square minus o a square, but that is equal to o p square minus o t square. Why? Because o a equal to o t, both are equal to radius. Now, go to triangle POT, OP square minus OT square is equal to PT square. So, that is how we can say PA into PB equal to PT square. Let us go ahead and add little bit more text where it is needed. What we need to prove? PA into PB equal to PT square. So, first step we have written PA equals to PN minus AN and PB is equal to Pn plus Bn, but we know An equal to Bn. So, that gives us Pn square minus An square. Now, let me join this triangle that will help you. Now, consider a triangle Opn, then we have Op square equal to On square plus Pn square 
are P n square equal to O P square minus O n square minus of A n square. That is equal to O P square minus of O n square plus A n square. O n square plus A n square in triangle O A n is equal to O A square. But what is O A square? O T square because O A equal to O T both are radius. So O P square minus O T square which is equal to P T square. Therefore P A into P B equal to P T square. Now let's write down what are the triangles we have considered. The first triangle we have considered for Pythagoras theorem is triangle O P N. From there we know P N square is equal to O P square minus O N square. That we have used here. Where is our next triangle we have used? Triangle O A N. In the triangle we know that O A square is equal to O N square plus A N square. Where we use it that logic we have used it here. Now once you understand this then this problem becomes pretty easy.